Uh, hello, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to the Orc Gunwagon uh, tutorial, part 12. Alright, let's get started. We were working on the second part of the engine. Uh, but before I go there, I want to uh, put some more detail into this one, because I forgot about these two edges. So, uh, select this edge here, and actually let's uh, isolate this. So, Alright, let's isolate it. Um, Select this polygon, that polygon, uh, inset them about yay far, maybe 2.5. Alright, uh, bevel them inward, height of negative 0.3, outline of negative 0.41. And then, let's see, we can, I guess we can add like a little patch here or something. So, create a box with a height of about. 0.3, convert to an editable poly, hit the edges and just connect all the edges. Okay, then go into the vertex mode and uh, just drag these around to get a kind of rough shape going on. Because you want it to look like it's uh, broken. And then patch it up again. So select these outer edges, chamfer. Okay, editable poly. And let's see. Rotate that a bit. Okay. And also let's make a second one. So you can just use the same one, just alter the uh, pieces a bit. Uh, next, let's make some a box connecting the two together. So, about there. Uh, increase the height a bit. Convert to editable poly. Edge control A. Chamfer all the edges. There we go. And then rotate it to meet your requirements. Uh, you can put more of these if you want, but I don't feel the need to, so. Next, uh, create a cylinder and auto grid, about that big. Uh, seven sides. Uh, convert into an editable poly. Get this polygon, select the edges, chamfer. Okay, 0.05. All right, use the move tool to uh, position it wherever you want to. I'm just going to do it at the edges. Keep positioning it. Could have used the placement tool, but the problem is. Uh, You'd have to do the select, uh, or you'd have to select the source twice, which could lead to problems. Stick it right there, and then uh, use the same ones for this. Put it right above it. Zoom in, just drag it out. Okay. And, uh, okay. Looks pretty good. And uh, exit isolation mode. And next, we're going to have to use the placement tool. So, max script, run script, placement tool. Set select a source. And oops, for hmm, zoom problems. Alright, I'll just pick one of these rivets and distribution, okay, I'll place them, ah, interesting, I'll fix that in a second, just place them on the insides here, and you can uh, turn off the lines if your computer is going too slow, because uh, screen recording takes up a 
a lot of resources. So I'm just gonna make a few of these. And again on the other side. Alright, and make some bottom too. Good. Uh, I'll just delete these four right here. All right. Uh, let's see. Turn lines back on. All right. Um, let's see. I said I was going to do something with this. Just leave that there for now. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something. Okay. Now, start on this engine. Uh, select the box we made, and to lower the height a bit. Okay. Um. Let's convert it into an editable poly polygon, extrude it so that it's uh, about that far below, so give it an extrude of about 50, uh, Okay. And then grab those two side edges and just pull them back so they don't hit. And then you can get this and just extrude that so it uh, goes right in there. Okay. And then grab this section and extrude it out. And there, so just a little bit before the lip, and we can get started on this piece here, let's actually do the top, so create a cylinder using auto grid, oh, the top view is probably easier, and just uh, create one in the center here, so Make it have about 40 sides, lower the height down to about 1, my radius is about 22, uh, convert to an editable poly, select that polygon, edge, chamfer, All right, chamfer to about 0 0.22, uh, and you're going to want to inset it about mm, or 4.5. Uh, bevel bit bevel it about 0.44 for the height and negative 0.36 extrude it about one looks good uh, bevel it again so this time do a height of about 0.3 and outline of about negative uh, 0.36 again inset by about 0.857 bevel, okay, extrude by about mm, 5.5 .5 bevel, okay, oh, uh, that's it for this part.